What is good everybody? It's your boy Patrick. Today's video, we are starting it with a morning walk. I said I was gonna do this in a previous video, so I'm following through with it. Morning walk, beautiful sunny day outside, chilling in the park by this little lake beside my house. So I am gonna answer one question from the previous video. If you have any questions for me, you wanna ask it, maybe it's about you, maybe it's about me, maybe it's about anything, just comment it down below in this video and I will answer it in the beginning of the next video when I go on my morning walk. So the question for this video is, my boy Fayaz wants to know, what are the plans for this summer? So for me personally, you guys know I'm finally done school, I'm done university, I graduated. So now I kinda have kind of like this summer and the rest of my life to kind of do what I want and you know really work toward like my goals and I don't have anything else holding me back like being a student in university like I previously was and now that it is finally summer I do have some pretty big plans so pretty much for me for my bodybuilding I do want to compete you guys know this and the show I want to do is actually in the summer however I want to fully maximize the time that I have. So basically to compete in the junior division, um, you have to be 23 years old or under. So for me, I'm born in 2000 and I have a late uh, November birthday. So to maximize my time in the junior, junior division, I'm gonna compete next summer. So my plans for this summer is to continue bulking. I'm not really cutting. I might do a mini cut. Depends what the body composition looks like in the future. But the goal for the summer is basically gonna be just to continue to grow like we have been doing. We've been bulking for around 16 months and I wanna keep bulking and keep growing all the way until next summer, um, which we're actually gonna start a prep and then compete then. So the plan is gonna be gym wise, just continue to grow, continue to bring up the weak points so that we can compete in men's physique for next summer. In terms of goals for myself, I'm gonna continue working where I'm working at the restaurant and going to start my actual online coaching business. So that's gonna mean I'm gonna get a full app and run up and running. I'm gonna have clients, I'm gonna have everything to do with coaching a coaching business in that app. So that's something I wanna start. I've taken kind of clients on the side just to gain some experience, but I haven't really launched it publicly, but that is what my plan is gonna be for the summer. So if online coaching is something you're looking for, keep an eye out for that because that's gonna be launching very soon, as well as you know my own personal app to kind of keep clients on track and do everything through there. So I wanted to keep these answers nice and short and sweet so we can get into the rest of the video, but I'm basically gonna do this, a little Q and A at the beginning of every uh, single video. So one question, I'll pick it so comment down below if you have any questions and I'll answer it in the next video um, Let's head to the gym now. Let's get massive and let's go. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Patrick today's video We have a lot to talk about because I have a brand new training split and new priorities for this new training split So I'm gonna run you guys through the training split uh, that we did just start this week So after 16 weeks of training on a certain split, we've definitely made a switch We had a priority for the last split and I think that those body parts that were priority being chest and back have been brought up pretty substantially. So now we have to shift our focus to bring up some other weak points that we have. So let me get warmed up and then I'll tell you guys more about the split, what we're prioritizing this workout and what we've changed to. I actually like this. I never tried it before because my gym just got this machine. It's like an Atlantis pull down. But the bracing is really good because you're lying down, but uh, it's really light, so we gotta keep going up. So, you've probably noticed something already. The first thing on the menu today is triceps. So, what we've started is we have placed arm training at the beginning of every training day, other than legs, obviously. So, the switch that we've made is we have biceps at, before we do push days, and now we have triceps before we do pull days. So today, you guessed it, we are doing triceps and then pull. So triceps, back, and rear delts. That's gonna be what's on today's menu. And this priority for this split um, that we're running now is really just an arm focus. I feel like, like I said previously, the last 16 weeks, we had a chest and back focus, which is why we had that split that we were running. And I think that my chest and back has came up pretty significantly. So now we wanna shift the focus to arm training. So that's why we have it when we're fresh, right when we get into the gym, we're gonna train our arms. So biceps are starting on push days and triceps are starting on pull days. So I'm gonna show you guys the exercise that we're doing and let's go. Okay, so the new workout split we are running, it's a little bit different. It's not on a set schedule during the week. So it's not 
each day of the week is the same workout. If you've watched my videos before, you know I previously stated that I don't really like forcing your split within seven days. It may work for some people, I just don't think it's really ideal for bodybuilding specifically. Um, but if you need to do that, you do that. Like me, I was working out at two different gyms, so just for peace of mind, to make sure I hit the same workouts in the same gym, I was making sure that each day of the week it was the same workout. However, since I'm fully done school um, now and I'm only coming to this gym, I have re-switched my split again to a three day on, one day off. And what that split looks like is Monday, or the for day one is gonna be biceps, chest, and shoulders. So it's basically a push day, but biceps instead of triceps. And then we hit biceps first. Um, day two of the split is gonna be just a full leg day. So quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves, and abs. Day three is gonna be a pull day with triceps. So back, rear delts, and then triceps instead of biceps, starting with the tricep training that we're doing today. And then it's a rest day. And then we repeat that uh, same split, but obviously with different workouts. So it's gonna be like each workout is gonna have an A version and a B version for the first day. And then the second day we hit that within the cycle. But yeah, so it's gonna be three days on, one day off. Um, I used to run this before obviously, and I really did like it. And I think it's just a better way to train because like I've said in a previous video, trying to force your split into seven days, which is like an odd, weird number, just doesn't really make a lot of sense. So having like a rotating split is definitely much better in my opinion. I am the one who I get it basic, get beef in the cook, get beef all the diamond, bitch, they sit on my wrist, they sit in one sign and let's keep us some cheese. I told them it's fucking my mom, but he rich. She be she just asked me if I got a tonka for really, I told her I got it, see? And I just be cutting her belly, I'm tape for new diamonds, I told them they turn on the seat. I told them I'll turn it up, I got deep all the diamonds on me, bitch, yeah, I'm already up. And I got a bitch who gon' pull up on me every Tuesday, she know that she suckin' it up. say one thing quick about this so watch as I'm doing it you'll see from the back angle you the goal of this pretty much is you want to adjust the cable height to at a level where the cable is fully aligned with your upper arm there like stacking with your joints so that's pretty much how you're gonna get the most tension on your tricep is by having that cable alignment exactly with your arm and with your joints you see it from the back shot that's what it looks like when you're doing it so I don't have it on the top highest cable setting I have it one off the top and that's just kind of what aligns best with me. A lot of people just do this because they see other people do it, but they don't really realize the setup for it is meant to be at a height and where it can fully align with you. So that's the, the beauty of this is that you can pretty much adjust it for anybody so that it can line up perfectly. Yeah, so obviously training arms in the beginning of your day, you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna have more focus, um, is gonna be an arm priority. Now the reason why having biceps with the push, other push movements and having triceps with other pull movements is that if you do your bicep or your tricep before the following workout like if you do your tricep first and then you follow it with your other push movements your push movements are going to suffer just because of the tricep fatigue that you're going to accumulate earlier in the session meaning that your triceps on every single movement are going to be the limiting factor in whatever press you're doing and then the same rule applies for biceps so the problem is if you do that before your designated pushing or pulling movements then that's gonna be the limiting factor, not really providing a good stimulus for the other things you're trying to train on that day. So having it with the like opposite thing by having the triceps before pull, triceps are not gonna inhibit your pulling ability. Same goes with biceps and your pressing ability. So that's kind of why having it like set up like this instead of just having regular push and pull days with the arm training first, this is a better alternative. All right, so now we're gonna move on to uh, the start of our back training, starting with the T-bar row. Um, this is pretty much gonna be the thickness day, so it's gonna be a little bit of lats, but the main priority is gonna be back, uh, upper back and thickness. So we're starting with the T-bar row. Now the idea behind like what I said previously is that now that our tricep training is done, you know, we've got some good stimulus on our triceps, we can move on to back training. There's gonna be a little bit of drop off just from like mentally we were locked in for a couple sets, but our back and all our pulling um, you know, motor, rudic, motor unit recruitment should be absolutely fresh, ready to go for this back training. So that's the whole idea, is that I can get tricep volume fresh and it not limit my back training whatsoever. So now we're gonna move on to back and we're gonna try to beat our previous logbook numbers from the split even before. Yeah. Wait. 
I want to do, I want to take this hoodie to like a manufacturer and ask them how much it would cost to make one of these hoodies, like just like the material and like the size and the quality. Because this hoodie I wear every single workout, the quality is insane, okay? Like there's no rips, no, not like it's in perfect quality. I literally wear it every single workout. The material is fire, it's super like insulated, super warm. The inside is fuzzy, like everything about it is fire. And the guy that sent me this hoodie, his brand is. Okima, right? It was like two years ago. He doesn't make clothes anymore. I tried to DM him on Instagram. This guy was from Ireland. He like discontinued his brand, he quit. So I'm like, so I can't get another one. This is like literally like one of the only ones. So I, I just want to make it and maybe I'll make my own. Like just with this material and I'll put like a different logo, put whatever I want on it. If I can think of something cool, but like, cause this quality is insane. I mean, you guys watch that video. I literally wear it every single workout. There's a reason why, like it's insane. All right, so one thing you might've noticed even with this workout, even though it's a new split, it's a brand new training day, it's a new training block. So all my exercises, a good majority of the exercises are still the same. I think a lot of people change up their exercises too quick. Even when they have a proper program, like they'll swap an exercise out just because the eight weeks of their program is done. If you're still making good progress on exercise, even if you change your split, even if you change the day it's on, even if you change the order of the exercises, if you're still taking progressions on the exercise, don't switch it out. It's that simple. Like don't try to fix something that's not broken. Okay, if an exercise stalled, doesn't feel good anymore, no more progressions to be taken, okay, swap it out for something else. But just because you're changing your split or changing the order of the exercises or changing the day you're putting the exercise on, don't just discard an exercise because you're changing another variable if you're still taking good progressions on that exercise. So that's why a lot of these exercises are still the same even though I've switched the split and I've pretty much switched a lot of the orders. If I'm still taking good progressions and they still feel good, I'm still gonna do that. Doesn't matter what split I'm doing. So wide grip, lat pull down is pretty much the only direct lat work we have for today. The rest of it is thickness and tricep, and then we have our lat focus day later in the week. We took out the SLDLs, which is annoying because I really liked it, but having like a leg day twice in the rotation, you know, I need something to split up the two sessions, the two upper body sessions, or else the carryover fatigue from the biceps and triceps is gonna affect my pulling and my pressing, so I need a leg day in between. So having a back and hamstring day really doesn't work for the split, which is unfortunate, but you kind of have to realize, like, if you wanna bring up something, you can only focus on one thing at a time. And I've made this mistake before, and I think a lot of people make the mistake where they don't feel like their physique is good enough, so they try to bring up everything at the same time. And that's good for beginners, because, you know, they may think they have a weak point, but really they just need overall muscle. But later in the game, when you do have to focus on one thing, you still think your other parts of your physique are not good enough, so you wanna bring them up as well. But if you're really trying to focus on something, unfortunately, you can only focus on one thing at a time. So that's what I've done, making this split. We're really gonna focus on the arms for the next eight to 16 weeks, and then we can, you know, adjust that. That's pretty much it for the session. First week into the training block, so there's not a ton of volume, obviously. But yeah, let's do some posing. Let's, let's check out the actual back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.